And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Vi. Going with a little bit more of the traditional list that other people are playing, taking this list from Mobilytics. But I did end up making one small change. I'm not playing, I took out the third Mystic Shot to be able to put in the third Loping Telescope. That's the one small change. But besides that, we're really a Station Archivist deck. The people that, whoever built this deck, I don't know who did. But they really built it around Station Archivist and being able to grab all of these different spells um, and, you know, just getting getting value off the Station Archivist. Because besides that, the other card that we have uh, to get a lot of value from is the Curious Shell Folk. And Shell Folk will, will reward us for having another Loping Telescope. And, of course, it rewards us for having all those these other things. So we have Archivist and Shell Folk, which are, you know, very good card. Like, Shell Folk's an engine by itself. Archivist is good card advantage and a good body. And then, you know, we can play all this small stuff. Basically, the, the plan of the deck is like play all this small stuff, play removal, have your card advantage, basically kind of start running your opponents out of cards. And then by the time you actually get to Ezreal and Vi um, and Shell Folk, they don't really have the answers to those cards. Your Vi is really more of just like a, a board control type card. It's going to um, remove a lot of champions, be a great blocker, all that kind of stuff. It's not really a win condition. It, it controls the board and allows your Shell Folk to have more time or allows your Ezreal to have more time and have Ezreal finish out the game. Um, so that, that's what our deck's all about. So let's go ahead and get to it. These are probably going to be some longer games, but Ezreal can finish up games kind of quickly. But this is similar to the Heimerdinger Victor deck that I played about three days ago, Victor Heimer, that we went 5-0 with. That was also a Curious Shell Folk deck. And, and Curious Shell Folk's just a really, really great card. So I'm, I'm expecting this deck to do quite well. Okay. Lulu Poppy with Fizz. This looks like a good hand. I shall keep it. I think Ezreal should be good in this matchup. You know, a lot of matchups you want to mulligan Ezreal away, and you don't need Ezreal right away. But I think this is like a deck with a bunch of smaller units. I could see Ezreal... Um, and they don't really play elusives too much, besides we saw that Fizz. I could see Ezreal creating Mystic Shots and helping us control the board. Awesome. Now we got a Vi. This kind of deck saves spell mana quite a bit. One of our best lines is playing Station Archivist on two on three and then creating a spell and then using it as removal. And that's what I was planning on doing. I wasn't planning on playing anything this round, but once they play this Bandle Commando, that's probably a card we gotta kill. So I was planning on passing the round. So we'll probably just pass here, save our spell mana. Let's go! Grab my hat! Comb my mustache! Okay, got some removal. We're gonna take Aftershock. It costs four mana, unlike all the rest of the stuff, which isn't great, but it's the thing that kills Poppy. And kind of assuming they play Poppy, because opponents always have Poppy. And so that's the card that kills the Poppy. Vi stands for Vicious. Alright, they've had a good hand so far. This mama is the beast mama. It's more exciting than an unsolved mystery. Sing with the darkness in your heart. Yeah, they've had a pretty good hand. Got a pretty good hand. Come on. But so have we. We've been doing exactly what our deck wants to do. A missing piece? And 
we're down to 19. Okay. Playing this, I can give them priority. I'm thinking I'm going to want to play Ezreal and create a Mystic Shant. I want to see what they do. Oh. They will have blockers. Now I wish I would have taken that deal one to two different things card. plus two costs so they can't play it right now. Um There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. Alright, have to kill that. Alright, let's get let's put this death ray back in because I would like to draw the MK2. Especially seeing this Vandal City Mayor over here. Well, we're doing pretty good. It's been a really good game. Just both players doing exactly what they want to be doing. This is probably the point of the game where these um, these loping telescopes are just going to be making crazy epics. So I'm sorry, Curious Shell Folk, I did use all of my Manifest cards and everything like that already, but I can find more. We got Hidden Pathways. We know one of our top two is MK2. Yeah, Vincent Law says this board music is marvelous. It really is. I like this board music quite a bit. Hmm. Alright, so they're going to get a lot of damage in this round. Could have gone just like attack, they block, I Tiana attack, make a, make a mystic shot. I'm going to save Tiana for next round though. Loping telescope created that. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. So now they have that with the Bandle City Mayor. That's pretty good. Charge. Probably not quite as good as my T on, uh, but I don't know. Maybe it's pretty good. Maybe, maybe it is, actually. Maybe it's just better. <clears throat> now they have a loping telescope also. They should be able to go very wide here. Yeah. Very wide. Okay, we need to block a waste of my time. Hardly you and you. 
No sweat. So, and I go down to four. Firing. If they don't kill me here, I think our Ezreal probably kills them. Alright, so we're at seven. Six. Got five. Yeah, we did. I don't miss. Wow, get excited. <laughs> they they have to just get excited, the Ezreal. They probably don't want to, but they just kind of have to. And yeah, we're just telling them, hey, we got more Pokey Sticks and more Mystic Shots in hand. Ended up being a close, close game. That was just such a good game where we both did everything that we wanted. All right, we got Zillion deck. So Time Bomb. With Bandle City. Okay, this has to be another Curious Shell Folk deck. <clears throat> with predicts and everything. Yeah, that's gotta be that's gotta be what this is. I know there there was a bug with Lucky Finds and Curious Shell Folk. Was that bug fixed? I don't know if that bug was fixed or not. If not, that's what my opponent's doing. They're gonna have um, Curious Shell Folk, we're, we're definitely going to need uh, Man uh, Mini Morph for that card. Then they're going to be trying to just predict a ton and uh, eventually win the game with Kahiri. That's, I couldn't think of Kahiri's name there for a second, sorry. They were uh, eventually win with the game with Kahiri. Haven't I been here before? I don't know, man. Sands beneath me and winds behind me. That doesn't sound too bad. You got caught. They probably have Zillion Challenge. Hmm. No, they're not even attacking at all. Make either of them cost two more. I guess the the Unraveled Earth is probably the card they want to play next. We got a lot of good spells coming up. If it's made of sand, I can it. Iterative Improvement or Called Shot. I was planning on making the... the uh, I guess we're just doing this. I don't know. That Iterative Improvement is awesome. I go along with the Station Archivist. But basically, I wanted to just get rid of that Roiling Sands right there. Yeah, Pwn Skewer is an epic. I need to find... Hey, that's really cool. Alright, so my next my next card should be Trinket Trade. That's like the only card that we, we have left um, from whenever we saw Station Archivist before we saw the top five. I need to find a Mini Morph.
that on top. Maybe I should prank first, that one, Mina. Yeah, they're definitely a shell folk deck. That's, that's gotta be what they're doing, is shell folk. I think I need Ascendant's Rise. I don't think. I guess you never know. But I want to trade these things away with them having the one health <clears throat> before a time bomb ate them up. Shot. I'll get a parallel convergence in the deck. I'm not scared. Create a parallel convergence. All right, third zillion. Thermogenic Beam, the Zillion. Could be playing Hourglass, but... That's how it is. Alright, cool. Alright, we've killed three Zillions. They probably don't have any more Zillions left. And I got this for Shellfolk. Have that for another shell folk. Never seen a contraption like this before. <laughs> Let me get you that fire. Bomber twins. So we know they have a ride of the arcane. And a hidden pathways. They haven't played hardly anything from Vandal City yet. You gotta think it's Curious Shellfolk. And just trying to make a whole lot of time bombs with the Shellfolks. So if they do play Shellfolk right now, I will just challenge it immediately with Vi. Bay, yeah, you don't want me to. Uh, I guess they're just gonna. This will make their mini morph cost eight. You don't want me to, you know, prank that card. Gotta get that out of your hand. Let me prank the other stuff. I tried the 
All right, I think we got. I think we got some mini morphs. So they have double right of negation and a ten mana mini morph. <laughs> Don't even ride engage in it. Yeah, they're like, it's over. And that's a knockout. All right, we're two and zero. Oh. Draven Scion. This one is not an Ezreal matchup. I send all those back. Obviously, we're going to save that many more for the Scion. We can maybe have Thermo Beam for Draven. Anything else? <laughs> but we could also use it earlier than that. If need be. I take two extra damage. So yeah, if, if I don't play that auto post, we take two damage. If I play it, we take um, four. But you know, it allowed me to get that in and check that two one. I don't know, maybe not worth it. This definitely wasn't worth it. Last one power can't block. Yeah, that definitely wasn't worth it. I should have saved I should save that spell mana for the station archivist. Yep. If I would have had that spell mana, I could have play, played Conchologist into some fumes. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't have played that. Empire. So they're gonna flame chompers challenge my four five. Now we're cooking. I'm down to twelve. Watch and learn. Never mind. Down to nine. Axe coming right up. So that that turn ended up being very bad for me with Let's get this over with. Um, with casting that prank and not saving that spell mana. I actually kind of like all of these. So my plan is, of course, some fumes the Draven. This isn't this isn't a bad stress defense matchup. What wondrous discoveries await below? But the trinket trade can give me like the otter post that can block a a baboon. All right, so we'll see if they have five points of burn. If they, you know, they definitely could. You know, we could die to get excited. Mystic shot. I could have protected against that better with the stress defense. All right, they did. All right, so good hand by them. I sequenced poorly, and so there we go. That, that's 
that's how you lose games. You, se you sequence poorly, and they had a, a good hand with a lot of burn. Okay, let's tighten that back up. We won't waste spell mana with pranks when we don't need to. I like I like having a good Vi. Sivir is always going to be difficult to deal with. Spell shield. Yeah, that's what Aro says. Like that, just after after a couple of games, tend to do some misplays. That'll happen. We're not. It's hard to play all every single game every day perfectly. And just learn our lessons and continue on. This is not a very good Ezreal matchup because of Sharp Sight. Not the best sloping telescope. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. We love it when they run. I'm very happy about that. So that means no sharp sight. <clears throat> and now Merciless Hunter is a 4 2. That works out a lot better now. Alright. We can handle that. I can't handle it's that card. How, how does anybody ever handle that card? Business as usual. Should have done it. I was thinking about it because I, I could have gone zero mana thermogenic beam to take out the spell shield right there. I was definitely thinking about doing that. Looks like I should have. Then if I would have, then I could play, you know, Archivist, Sump Fumes, try to kill it. But of course, they could just have pump spells. Okay, so do I want to go Vi or Shellfolk? Like Shellfolk's a good blocker, I guess, for Sivir. They probably do vulnerable stuff. I guess Shellfolk's the better blocker. I think I'm playing Shellfolk. So I think I'm going to do that this round, is play Shellfolk, then play... That's all. Okay. I get the guards, Bob gets the goods. Blah, blah. I was, gonna, I was gonna do Shell Folk and then Thermo for zero. And that will unlock Sump Fumes next round. Oh. Now I got this bruiser over here. Sorry, boss. Oh, playing versus Siver is not easy. Cracks go bag loot. Blah blah. She gets it. Trying to keep them from being able to attack with Sivir. Alright, so I guess they have a pump spell. I hope not. Hope it's a bluff. Alright, good. I'm a woman of principle. Mine is clear and get paid. Uh, correct. Arch Archivist does not do anything with Shellfolk, no. Shellfolk is randomly selected options, and this is not randomly selected. What a haul. Vi. 
best draw in the game right now would be Trinket Trade. Trinket Trade just gives a lot of bodies. What Trinket Trade would do. Uh, this is not randomly selected option, so I guess this shouldn't work either. No, it shouldn't. So let's just take this. Let's take this shot. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Alright, they get another lucky find. I was really thinking about passing. You assume they'd still play the lucky find either way. You're in good hands now. Really? Are you kidding me? This is worth. Finders keepers. Go get the shiny top. Unsolved mystery. Talk is worthless. We are what we do. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. Well, that didn't work out so well. Alright, so we have no spells in the top five. Should have shuffled first. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. That's right. Yeah, we have had the unluckiest game, haven't we? Step lightly. to four now. What a haul. I'm doing this my way. What are these draws? You've got to be kidding me. How? I feel like there's no way we should have lost this game. But we obviously are going to lose this game very much. What wondrous discoveries await below? Finders keepers. So the big problem is I know that I don't have a spell on top, and so I can't stop an open attack from just killing me. Just as I suspected. Uh, you live it. This will look great on my mantle. All right. Well, now we can. What a haul! We gotta discard one of these. Which one are we discarding? Archivist. Persistence is key. 
That better not have been a pump spell. Of course it was. That was the unluckiest game for us. Luckiest game for the opponent. It'll be a tough one, though. Gangplank Sejuani is always difficult to beat. So it's going to be a difficult one to go three and two. Yeah, the arc. Yes, Arcane looks awesome. We did watch the trailer a little while ago. Yeah, super excited about that. It's just not parlay. That's good. Getting rewarded this time for not casting the prank. I've never met anyone like you. Uh So I still have spell mana with the archivist. I'm not planning on playing the Archivist this round. Monkey Idol. Monkey Idol is going to put in some work. There we go. Safety will cost. The Otterpus just, you know, cost zero mana playing it right there. Might as well. And save. I want to save all of these kind of pranks and, and loping telescope, all that kind of stuff, for after Shell Folk. Vi stands for vicious. Vi is really good versus Monkey Idol. There's plenty of killing left. I'm glad that wasn't. I was scared that that was going to be the har uh, monster harpoon. I'm glad it was a monster harpoon. I guess I could have played one more card and leveled up by like the shell folk. Guess I could have done that. Yeah, you don't want to class me. Yeah, give me my own conchologist back. <laughs> It's the anti-nab. They nab my cards, but then I, I, <laughs> I get them back. Bow to no one. So of course we're gonna manifest that thing. Ambush is really nice with Vi. Make it twelve power elusive. Let us take a peek at life beneath and then we can make the something else like elusive.
18 power elusive? Wait! Made choices. I need to know what the card ambush does, I guess. What am I doing? If you've added two plus cards to your hand this round, why didn't I just add two plus cards to my hand this round first? I'm just thinking way too far ahead. Ugh. Let's get to the fun part. That could have gone better for me. Down. And that's my fault, obviously. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. Yep. When we see everything that was in their hand, I would have won the game if I would have just played that other card first and then attacked and then Pokey stick them. That was that was lethal. So I should have won this game, but I messed up that one card. But yeah, we've seen everything else in their hand. I had the right idea. I just need to know what Ambush does. I guess. So it puts me now to three. If this hits this, we go to four. Sure, we got a four. Doesn't matter whether she'll pull blocks or not. So I messed this up really bad. Like usual. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Let's take a peek at life beneath the waves. Long week, long week. We're taking tomorrow off. I'm, I've <laughs> already felt like it's... I'm playing like it's already tomorrow, like I'm already taking the day off. That's how I've been playing. <laughs> but I, that should have been a win right there. Played that correctly. trying to think if like if I need to just like try to cast the make it rain and just hope we get lucky with the make it rain and then save the two damage for the crack shot corsair that's very possible I just threw threw away that game all right, so ended up going two and three, but any normal player there would have gone three and two. I just really, really messed up the ambush play, of course. All I had to do, all I had to do was just play the prank first, you know, basically read the card ambush, realize you have to have the two cards in hand first to be, to be able to give them the elusive and then give them both elusive and it was a victory. So the deck was definitely good enough for the three and two, um, but you know, I, I misplayed that one and so that, that will cost you. So we learned some lessons there. Um, that loss and then my first loss was also with just kind of the wrong sequencing so i really didn't play this deck too well but the deck i think performed quite well if i would have done better sequencing um earlier on against the draven scion deck maybe i could have won that one also and that would have been a 4-1 um and then of course the one the one that we did lose was like the the other one that we did lose was just like some terrible terrible luck and really good luck for our opponent over and over and over you know, round after round after round. So that, that one was just a crazy game. So um, I would not have been surprised if, you know, things are different, you know, playing playing this deck again and doing really well with it, going 4-1, going 5-0 with this kind of deck. I think that it's really, really solid. It has lots of good removal. You got good early blockers. You got good removal. You have a good way to finish the game with Ezreal and a ridiculous card advantage with Shellfolk and then um, a champion that just stabilizes the board 
with Vi. So you kind of have everything. So I think this is a really good deck. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. And, um, you know, I know you'll probably leave those comments of like how bad a player I am because, yeah, I did not play too well. But that, that'll happen. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully y'all like the deck, though. Let me know. We had three Bandle City decks today. I think all three of them are going to be good rank up decks. If you're looking for good rank up decks, you can try out any one of these three. And uh, yeah, let me know which one you like the best. But that's going to be it here for Ezreal Vi. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.